Hello Runlings. Today is a slightly different video to normal. Um, because today, um, unusually, I'm at a campsite. But no, don't, 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 don't go, don't, I promise this will be a good one. Um, it's, it is a campsite, but um, it's no frills, there's no facilities. It's literally just a field. They give you a field and then say, that's it, that's all you're getting. So it's not a, 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 like a super, lots of frills place. So your camping experience, my camping experience will be the same as it normally is. It's just that this time I'm on a campsite. The only difference is I can't, I can't go for a poop in the bushes or anything like that because I don't think the other campers would yeah, like it. I'm sort of sitting there like, and yeah, what's up in the middle of the field. Um, so I have got my van. <laughs> well, I mean, I've always got my van, um, but uh, the van is like right next to me this time and there's a toilet in there, so I'll be going in that. But other than that, um, this will be a kind of normal viewing. Why am I doing it at the campsite? I hear you ask. It's because, I don't know, I hope you can hear me, all right? Because there's a lot of traffic noise the other side of the bush. Um, I've got my mic on, so I'm hoping so. But um, yeah, so why why campsite today? Well, the reason why is because the missus uh, said she wanted to come with us and try out camping. I don't want to point over there. There's nothing there. Camping in a tent. Um, she's she's tried it in the camper. She loved it. Um, and this time I said I'm you know I'm off camping this day. And she said, well, I'd like to give that a go as well. She wants to come with. Uh, you probably won't see her still because she doesn't want to be on film, she's camera shy. She's not here at the moment either, I've got to go and get her later. Um, I'm actually setting up solo, um, and then I, later on I'll be going to get her. But that's, that's why the campsite, because she wants to be eased into this business and she wants to uh, experience it from a slightly easier point of view um, before she decides she may or may not want to dive in the bushes with me when I do it myself which I can't see happening to be honest but so anyway that's the point of this but it's it's not luxury it's it still be a normal camp from all point of view um and let's just get to it as always I have a piece of news today that's the good thing about today I have a piece of news now it's I've, it's a tent I've let it in shot already so um it's a new tent it's not I always do everything on a budget I don't I haven't got a kajillion pounds to buy your hillies and all, hillibergs and all that rubbish. Um, not that I think I'd want to waste my money on such an expensive tent anyway. Um, so it's not a low budget tent. In fact, it's a tent I've never, I've never heard. It is a low budget tent, sorry. And it's a tent I've, I've never heard before. Um, I think you say four sat. It, it seems to be one word, which just sort of throws you off. Four sat, don't know. So not a well-known make, but I don't think it's a well-known make. But on Amazon, so many people bought it and so many people praised it. So uh, I don't think it's an expensive tent, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be a bad tent either. Uh, it's another two man. And the reason for getting this is because after a year and a half of, over a year and a half of this channel, I'm starting to get a tent bug. You know, like the first tent I bought was for necessity. Um, because I was trying to get all my gear together and it's expensive trying to get all your gear together on a budget and I wanted a good tent but a cheap tent but I wanted a tent that I wasn't gonna leak when it rains so it had to be sort of a good tent but so I went for the OEX Fox 1 because for the reasons I just explained not necessarily I wanted it it was just a cheap a, a good quality and then I went into upgrade I wanted a vestibule so then I got the Bobcat 1 which has a few issues I'm not you know, it's not something I would never use, but it has, does have a few issues not great with. And then I decided to get see what a two-man was like. Um, it, it, can I do the weight? Uh, it, you know, obviously more space the better. But can I do the weight? Is it going to be good to do a two a two-man? So I bought the Vango High. No, the Vango. Yes, Vango Hydra 200, which I absolutely love. Nothing wrong with that, and I'll keep using that because I like it. But then I decided that's when I kind of got the bug because then I was just like, hmm, what else is out there for, for you know? And I just wanted, so then I just bought one uh, and I think I'm going down that route, you know, of just loving tents and camping and, and I'm starting to 
well, what else is out there? Yeah, I'm happy with what I've got, but I'm like, well, what else is out there? So that's why I bought this tent. That's why I'm going to try it out. Um, I, I went through so many tents online, uh, Amazon and wherever, and, and um, you know, I'm trying to keep it low. This was... 60 something late 60s uh, if I remember I'll try to give the exact amount oh, I'm, I'm terrible at doing this stuff um, so it wasn't like the most expensive but it was certainly no cheap my Hydra was was 130 something and this is like I think it was maybe 69 68 something silly like that um, so a lot a lot lower and I was interested to know if I could go lower um, and still get a tent that I like and uh, will keep me dry. I mean, the weather at the moment, I mean, is looking a bit sort of, uh, I can't see what you can see there. It's looking a bit sort of, mm, you know, and today has been sunny most of the time, but it has been threatening. And the, the, lady, the lady here on, who owns the, the site said, oh, you better park over in so-and-so area. And I was like, oh yeah, fine, that's no problem, why? Uh, she says, you're just likely to sink there. Yeah, I'm yeah, she's worried I, I won't be able to actually drive off because I've sunk so much down into the ground because of the rain so bad over the last few months. Uh, oh, <laughs> that filled me with loads of confidence. Anyway, let's let's get the tent up and see what's what's going on. So I've stopped it at this point because even for a time lapse it can go on a bit too long. Um, it's basically up. I've just got. A, looks like I've just got to peg out the um, the vestibule. Looks like that's the only thing that's not kind of freestanding. It's essentially at this point freestanding. Um, it's the whole thing up. So it's just pegging corners down and pegging out the vestibule. So I thought I'd, there's no point in carrying on with the old uh, time lapse just for that. Um, you've got the basic gist. The only problem I had, because I haven't unpacked it before and I haven't looked at the instructions or anything, it just when I was opening it, it seemed fairly straightforward. Um, I've got this piece to put somewhere, I'm not sure where that goes. I shall find that out forthwith. I've um, got a feeling I should have put that, I don't know, I'm going to have to look at that. Um, but you saw how easy it was to pull up, it was fairly straightforward. and. Um, the only thing I did get wrong was that uh, when I put the, the fly sheet over the top um, I sort of had it around the wrong way I was like ooh that, that doesn't make sense um, but yeah I think we're basically there it's just pegging out so there it is with one door up I mean that's what it looks like on the other side both sides look like that so that's what it looks like on the other side I can't be bothered to put it down and put it back up to show you so so the upside is that um, I love the vestibules aren't massive but you've kind of got one each because there's another one on the other side can't really see it from there but there's a, it, 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 this this um, tent is um, exactly symmetrical so there's another one of these on the other side so if you imagine this door down it's it's doing that so you've got all the way of that across that's really good because it's not a massive vestibule but you have two you got the other one as well so if there are two of you in here you can there's a zip the other side too so you can get out that side and you can get out this side and you can keep all your person one can keep all this stuff that side and person two can keep all the other stuff this side so it's not a big vestibule but is it because if you're on your own you've got two sides you can store your stuff on um, and if you're with someone else, you can keep your stuff in even individually, sort of like neat and tidy. So that's pretty good. I like that. Um, got a vent at the end, another vent at the other end, like so. Um, I'm gonna go through the goods first. 
because I wanted to do out of a moment then. That's quite a good bit of space. Two man tent. You, you'll get you'll get two um, sleeping pads in there next to each other with a smidge of space. You won't be you won't be absolutely. It's not really spacious, but it, it, you, you do it comfortably, I think. So I think it's a good size. Um, now, remember that bit of material I showed you? I want to lie on my back. It goes up here. On each corner. So, so I can only imagine that's a pocket. Maybe it's strengthened the top, perhaps? Because it's got one on there. On, on, it's in line with this seam here. Strengthen the top maybe, so it's not as wobbly. Or is it a pocket? I went on the instructions, which are not brilliant, and it doesn't tell you even about this. I looked at every single individual picture because it's easy to miss. It doesn't tell you anything about this. It doesn't even acknowledge this exists. So is that to strengthen it? Strengthen the top? The thing about it is you've got a lovely little hook on, on here, but it's inside, it's underneath there. So you can't hang anything off of it when this is up because it's inside, unless it's really, really short or it would just touch, you know, it would touch this. So that's a bit of a, a poser. Is it a strengthener? So you feel you've got to use it, but then you can't put anything on the hook because it's now the other side of this. It's, it's not on that side, it's on this side. So you can't really dangle anything. Hmm, don't get that. Not really sure what that's about. As I said, it's not on the instructions, so. So, but, but you know, um, small thing, not really that important. Um, I don't dangle stuff from the tent anyway, because um, I was smacking my head on it all the time. I find other ways of securing. In fact, I've got a little puck light that will probably sit on the inside of that tent quite nicely, on the inside of that square thing where it is. But yeah, no, I, I, I'm pleased with that uh, overall. That's a, quite a cheap tent. I forgot to look up the price again. I think I'm right of what I said earlier. Right, so the thing I don't like is that this door, and the, the other one that's rolled up is the same, um, is hung on off a peg. So you've got to, um, there's the peg for that door. You've got to pull it off off the peg to roll it up yeah so I don't like that other tents uh, get round that by by it being perhaps a strip that pegs down and then you zip that to the, the centre strip which I'd rather have um, I'd much rather have that because um, Every tent I've had, doesn't matter even if it's single, double, or whatever. No, tell a lie, the Fox one doesn't do it, but that's a tiny little, stupid little bivvy, fa fancy bivvy, that's all that is. But yeah, I'd, I'd rather have a central column that you peg down and the door zip to it. So you just unzip and zip up the door. That's, but this is asking you to unpeg it. Every time you open that door, you've got to unpeg it. And every time you close it, you've got to peg it back up. And, unpeg it. and I, I don't like that at all. That's my only bug. Because when you go away, you've got to peg it back in. Then when you come back, you've got to unpeg it. And it's, the peg loop works loose where you're pulling on it all the time. No, I, 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 I don't like that. I haven't put the guys on because I never, I never use guys. Because I'm just not anywhere where it gets windy. I mean, look at it. I do like its stability. You know, I've done this side up, which weakens it a bit. But I do like, yeah, it, it, it barely moves. Uh, that's without the guys, it barely moves, so it does look like it could really take a good battering. Um, except for it's relying on the pegs to hold the whole vestibule in. Not really a fan of that. But that's my only bitch. That's my only bitch so far. Um, I've not slept in it yet, but that's my only, my only uh, dislike so far, is that that. I wish the vestibule would peg. I wish the door would zip up to two something rather than the whole thing coming on peg. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Blah. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I will do. Um, uh, the um, 
the the weight I'll tell you something I can't do I'm rubbish with telling you specs of everything I'll tell you the weight the weight all right so this 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 is weighed on my own scales they say on the website that um, they say on the website that it's 2.5 kilograms I've weighed it when it came in uh, I hadn't taken out the bag yet I weighed it as is and it's 2.7 kilograms so it's heavier than they say now my um, I have to go inside my van because the sun the sun's so bright so my, my Hydra um, my Vango Hydra 200 is 3.95 kilograms again on my own scales this is not what they said so this tent despite If I'm honest, it's bigger inside than the, the Hydra. It, you know, you don't, I don't have to measure that. It's much wider inside than the Hydra. And you can sit up in this one. The Hydra, you have to move, scoot yourself right to the front of the, of the tent, um, um, where the door opening is, because it starts low and goes higher. So you've got to go to the front. This tent is such a, such a shape that you can sit up in it wherever you are, because the walls are you know, completely flat. And it just goes see wherever you are inside that tent you can sit up so it's higher but also it's wider so it's a lighter tent you could say the individual vestibules are smaller but it has two so it's bigger really if you if you if you if you just measure the square foot of each side that's bigger that's more so you you could say it's got a bigger vestibule it's a bigger tent you can sit up in it and it's lighter interesting eh but the hydrostatic head is only 3000 whereas the hydrostatic head on the hydra is is 5000 so i think that makes it thicker and adds weight perhaps um i keep um comparing it to the hydra because at the moment it's only two man tent i've got um so i, I just thought you might want to understand the difference a lot of people said to me they've got the hydra and, and said they really liked it i mean i do i love it i absolutely love the tent um, but it's an interesting difference between the two and yet that was only 68 pound 69 pounds something like that um, whereas the hydra was 137 i think it's more than that now uh, but when i bought it it's 137 so you know i think slightly less quality on this one that's why it's dropped but design wise you certainly got more room a lot more space draw your own conclusions that's the end of today of this review for a tent that I bought with my own money because I'm not monetized so not having um, camped with missus in a, in a tent before um, I needed um, I thought, well, if this is going to be, this may or may not be a regular thing, I'm going to buy a, a double sleeping bag, uh, but a really cheap one because it's summer. I don't need to go all thick. And... So I bought for £18, I bought this Super Snooze double from uh, Euro Hike from Go Outdoors because um, I wanted it cheap. And I'm going to stick that in there. Um, and. Um, then I'm going to keep that in the camper so from now on in the summer this is our duvet because we were taking the duvet out of our bed bringing it down and putting it in the camper and now I should just keep this in there all the time and it's now a camper one um, and when she if she wants to do this again it'll go in the tent and, and if she doesn't want to do it again then it's it's not a waste because it's it's something I'll just keep permanently in the camper I'll show you in a sec well that's looking nice a nice actually sleeping bag i like the colors Ugh! i like the colors inside um i've cheated a little bit because that is um not a uh it's filled up the whole th whole inside of the tent it's just one big cushion because i've taken the cushions i've taken the cushions out of the camper that we sleep on they're sofa cushions and uh they're the settee because we lay a load down that for the bottom and a load along the back for your back and that makes the settee and then when you go to bed you put them all down next to each other and they make a, a, a 
a, a double bed and that's what I've done in there I've put them all inside the camper inside the tent um, so the whole floor is just cushion um, bit of a cheat but we were looking at, into that and I'm not prepared to buy another sleeping pad because they're not cheap um, if she decides that nah, I don't want to do this anymore that was rubbish um, the, the cheap uh, sleeping bag that's fine because I can use that um, but the uh, the um, I, well, yeah, if I buy another sleeping pad and then she says I don't want it, then they're not the sleeping pads. Even the best of sleeping pads aren't cheap. Um, uh, 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 comfortable ones. I'm trying to get her to enjoy the outdoors as well. And um, if uh, if she's uncomfortable because I bought a cheap one, she's not going to come back. So I thought I'd uh, leave that for now. If she likes this, then I'll invest in a more comfortable sleeping pad. So for the, I have cheated a little bit there for the time being. It's just all the sofa cushions have gone in there and it's quite interesting because the whole inside of the tent is just sofa cushions now so wherever you go you're on a sofa cushion it's pretty cool so that's that I'm pooped now that's quite hard work for some reason don't figure I mean, it's I'm a lot nearer that no road is noisy I'm a lot really nearer um it's a lot easier than being out and stealth camp and if I'm pooped I'm because it maps it's a new tent and a lot of faffing around and a lot of guffing about and messing about. I've got uh I'm absolutely starving. I bought um these are usually for breakfast but I really fancied this. They're um ration sausage chicken sausage and beans. I just want something simple, something quick. I'm just boiling the water to stick that in. Um I'm thirsty as well. I forgot. I've got a big list of things I'm meant to bring. I've uh, when I go to pick up my girlfriend, I'm gonna. There's a th there's a few things I want to bring with me. Uh, so there you go. Uh, 360. Time for a 360. Um, it's not gonna be the most interesting thing in the world. It's quite peaceful here actually. I'm right near a road. I didn't realise that, but I'm, I'm not moving now. Um, but other than that, it's not, it's not too bad. It's, it, as I say, it's, at this time of year, there's not many people here. And um, it, it's, just a, it's just a field. Uh, yeah. So here we go. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not ugly, it's still peaceful. Nice, nice weather. As I say, there's no facilities, so it, from that point of view, it feels like uh, every other camp. It's, it's nice not to have to stealth, I, I, I've, got to, I've got to admit. It is quite nice. I, I think even, I don't know if I would have thought this on my own, but knowing what I know now, it's, it, it, even if, I think every so often, I might um, just, just do one like this so I can just not have to hide and what look up every three seconds and uh, it, yeah it's it's just ah uh, you know I don't have to worry about anything so yeah, it's nice to do I must admit it's quite refreshing I mean I love camping and, and stealth is the only way you can do it all the time I can't afford to to camp all the time on campsites and you don't get as nice a view and feeling of, of nature anyway um, but I'd love to have somewhere where I can do that all, all the time, but hey, c'est la vie. Um, so I think every so often I might, not too often, not all the time, just every so often, once a year or so, I might come to the campsite and just go, ah, not stealth, because it's quite refreshing. Beans and sausages, as promised to myself. Well, it's not sausages, is it? Well, it is sausages, but it's like it's called chicken sausages, so it's kind of like kind of like not really a sausage. The sausage shaped. The meat is really soft and. It doesn't really taste like chicken. 
It's nice, but it doesn't really taste like chicken. I can't think what it tastes like. It tastes a bit like when you buy... I'll tell you what it tastes like. I don't know if you ever buy cans of meatballs in tomato sauce or gravy or anything from the supermarket, Asda or whatever. That's what that tastes like. Which is not a bad thing because I quite like them as well. I don't see them a lot in them. Considering it's army rations and I'm supposed to get them full bellies and to go out fighting and run two million miles. Not much in them. And more. Snack. Snack for the meal. Snack than a meal. Or am I just a real fat bloke? Who knows? Blue-haired fat bloke that knows nothing about nothing. I'm ready to So it's just started chucking it down with rain. So I've had to bring it. So I've had to bring everything inside. I could sit in the van, but I'm out here to tent camp. That's why I wanted to be here. Um, and you can't beat this sound. It's lovely. Something I didn't mention about this is tent is that there's a pocket in every single corner of the tent. There's some really good touches about this as well. And look at the space, there is loads of space. A lighter tent than my Hydra, much more space. I'm liking this tent. I just need to see now if it leaks. Um, yeah, I don't understand the pocket -y thing, but, but you know, I, I put my boots in one side and I, I thought I'm actually still on a tripod, so I don't know if this is gonna, but you know, that's, that's the inside of the vestibule, you know, I've got the table down there, because it makes a nice stable, st stable floor humongous bottle of water over there because oh uh, sorry I don't have to carry it because it's gone with the van so I've got a huge bottle of water there all my camping cut cutlery on on the table is down there now I'm keeping nice and the floor nice and stable a bit like a little mini mat for the floor there's still space over there right up in the corner up there and over here Sorry guys, and over here is the other vestibule. Look at that. And we've got this lonely old pair of boots in there. So you know, the vestibules, the vestibules aren't the biggest of vestibules. Sorry for swinging you around there. They're not the biggest of vestibules, but there's two of them. So on your own, this tent's huge and so much more spacious. It's really beginning to grow on me. It's so much more spacious than the Hydra. Um, and lighter, isn't that bizarre? Uh, mm, I, I, it is really starting to grow on me, this tent. You know, I can't find it hard to find. It's just that vestibule thing where you've got to completely unhook the door to open it and then hook it back up to close it and hook it up. You know, I know you've got the other side that you can zip it to, but that kind of bugs me a bit. Maybe not a big deal to most people, but it kind of bugs me a bit. But you know, that that's, it's a small thing, because this tent is actually huge and, and, and small packs down smaller and it's lighter. Like, how can you not like it? It's difficult to not like it. But listen to that sound, that's why I come in here as opposed to seeking rescue in the vet. 
refuge in the van because listen to that sound. I love it. We'll just sit here and enjoy that moment. Camping ain't all bad. I, uh, I can even watch DVDs while I'm out. And that's actually quite light and it's battery powered. According to the website, I can't, I can't hear. I I've forgotten the remote control, it's in the van. So, um, it, it has made me wonder because it's 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 quite light and it's not massive it's sort of laptop size and um it runs off a battery the i haven't tested that out yet because i haven't had it long but the uh, manufacturers say it's, you can give you four hours on the battery so it's so like a minimum minimum watch one movie probably possibly two so i could just chuck a disc in there take it with me hmm i wonder Uh, obviously the stealth side of it means it's uh, quite loud and what have you, but you can have headphones I guess. Um, by the way, I've, I've had a text and uh, for various reasons, various problems at home, my girlfriend's not coming so um, I, uh, I'm, I'm just on my own. I don't know why I'm smiling, uh, so I'm just doing this uh, on my own and relaxing and enjoying the day. The rain, as you saw earlier, was absolutely throwing it down, but now... Look at that, it's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. It's, it's changes by the minute. Changes by the minute. It's, well, I had a good lie down in there and test it out. And it, there's so much room in that tent, it's unbelievable. I'm so impressed. When you're lying in there, it's, it's, it's got the height so you can sit up. The width is unbelievable. You know, comparing it to the Hydra again, you know, it's just quite, quite narrow and, and it goes down. You know, this is the same both sides, you know, you've got loads of foot room. And the Hydra, I do have to sort of go in the middle a little bit because you go right up against the side. Not the Hydra. Yes, it's called the Hydra, I'm getting confused now. The Hydra, yeah. So, um, so if I go against the side, you can feel your feet touching the, the inner tent. So if you go in the middle, there's a bit more space. So as it, it goes down like that. Um, but this is huge all the way to the end. And you saw earlier, I jammed my phone in that, whatever that bit of mesh does. I just put it behind there, and because it, it's mesh, you can see through it. I'm just lying there looking at the seat. I've got the, got the blooming phone in there. Um, so I can watch. Watch, the, I don't even have to hold it, it's right above my head. I mean. I'm really, really starting to like this tent. I'm really, I'm really starting to like this tent. And at, and at a fraction of the price of the Hydra, which is a fraction of the price of really expensive tents. Um, so it shows how cheap it is. And it, it, it just come, it really came down heavy. Um, so I had a good, I had a good test, I had a good look around and nothing, not a, not a leak. Um, yeah, and, it, and it's packs down marginally smaller and it's lighter. And yet, when you put it up, there's twice as much room. Just so you, uh, you know, amazing. Uh, I'm really liking the tent. You know, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna sleep in it tonight and uh, see how that goes. So I did all those cushions. I put, put them all out to fill up the to make it a two-person tent. Um, and I'm sleeping on my own anyway, so I could have just pumped up my pad and slept in the middle and had even more space. Sailor V. Uh, I just have to do it alone. I don't know why I keep smiling when I say that because I'm really sad that she's not coming.
good morning. I uh, I packed up straight away before I started filming because uh, time's ticking on. Um, as always, I do when I do it during the week. I've got to go pick the door up, so I'm in no, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Um, just trying to dry the inner out. The inner out. Um, it didn't get wet. It, I mean, it, it was massive. I mean, when I, last time I stayed here, it was the same. I don't know if it's something to do with the area, but everything was thick with condensation. The inside was dripping with condensation. This did stay. The inner did stay completely dry. Um, even, even, even because of the condensation, it still kind of stayed dry. But when I took the inner off, obviously it all sagged and sort of rested on top of it and got the inner wet, which is a bit annoying. Um, so it's, so it's sat in the sun at the moment, trying to dry that out. The the outer is going to have to go on the line when I get home because there's no saving that. But this is just a bit wet. I might be able to dry it out before I go. Um, but that ten, uh, the amount of space in it, it's just unbelievable. Um, I've been banging on on all the other episodes about how much I love the Hydra 200. I do like it, um, but yeah, my uh, my thoughts are. I'm trying not to like this as much because it was cheap and in, in your head. Cheap, well, it's cheap. Got to be rubbish. I'm trying, trying not to like it, but but. Um, it's yeah it, it's lighter it's a two-man tent it's lighter than the hydra it's more spacious than the hydra um it's got more vestibule space not in one place it's shared between two sides but even so um last night i uh i have one more sneaky cup of cup of um cup of tea um before i went to sleep and i did it because i'd already got into bed and um and I, I did it inside the, the vestibule, so it's tall enough to accept you know, a fair, fair height of stove. So, um, you know, that, that worked. Uh, so I can cook in there, so it's not so small you can't cook in there. And, you know, you can shift all your stuff over to one, the other vestibule to, to completely clear out the way, where you're cooking and working in. So, so really, in that sense, it's got more uh, vestibule space and it's got and because of the design, it's it's wider, and you can sit up in it. Um, so it's bigger inside, and it's lighter, so it's it's really difficult to. The materials aren't as good quality as as the Van Gogh. You can see, you know, the the um, the guy ropes look a bit thinner, and the pegs are the pegs are stronger, but they're heavier because the Van Gogh try and get the pegs as light as they can but you can actually physically bend them without very little effort on the van Goghs. um these ones are much stronger so you know uh, you know you know stronger pegs slightly heavier you know um so so and it rained on and off all last night and not a little bit i mean heavy rain and i was as dry as a bone the inner tent was as dry as a bone this morning um so it had a good test you know so <laughs> It's really hard to not like it in every respect, and it packs down smaller than the Hydra. And the Hydra is is classed as a backpacking tent, you know. So it's not like I've bought uh, uh, just a uh, one that doesn't claim to be a backpacking tent, just a normal tent. So they haven't worried about weight too much. Um, so yeah, I I really like it, and it was such a, a small price, you know. As I said, I think it was just under seventy quid. So. As tents go, that's pretty good. Um, I took a bit of a chance because I don't like getting brand names I don't know because if you don't know them, um, how can you trust them? But the reviews were good, and that's what I based it on. And I know I know under the reviews are good because it is. Yeah, I'm I'm impressed with it. Excuse me, I'm impressed with it. So I think we'll be seeing more of that in the future. A bigger, I would tell, the only other thing is it's got a much bigger footprint. So when I'm trying to sneak into small areas when I'm um, stealth camping um, it, it, I might struggle with that a bit so I'd have to really know the area really wreck the area and know the area first I reckon or or just cross fingers and it fits so it has got a bigger footprint because you've got a vestibule either side it makes it quite wide 
Um, that's the only downside. That's only regarding stealth camping. If you're uh, if you're not doing that, it's obviously not an issue. Um, and being a freestander like that, it's um, really hot, sunny weather. You needn't put the top up. You, know, you can just use it like that. So yeah, so yeah, I'm liking it, loving it. It's a good tent. Um, I'm gonna, I, I, as usual, because I'm sort of a bit pushed for time, I haven't had any breakfast, just whack a coffee down me. Uh, I've got to pay for the, for the pitch and then, then I'm off. So uh, I think that's going to be it for this, uh, for this um, episode. Eh? Um, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time, because as always, there will be plenty more. Obviously, the campsite is a very rare thing. I've done it once in a year, over a year and a half um on the on the channel so um it'll it'll be definitely um stealth camping next time or or camp or van camping uh stealth usually because i don't want to pay for that either so so i'll see you in the next one